Hey, hey there, everybody. We are going to take a few minutes to take a look at topic three, DQ1. All right, first things first, as I take a look at the goals and instructions, we are going to be creating financial formulas in Excel. And everybody, I'm going to suggest you use these for your homework too, if you want to, right? Because once you type these formulas in, you don't ever have to type them again. Did you hear what I just said? Type the formulas incorrectly one time and you can use them for any homework assignment that goes along with these, okay? So I would keep this and use and reuse it, all right? I'm gonna show you guys something. All right, so let's take a look. First things first, type your name in, right up here in cell C2. You got your name typed in, let's go. It says here we're gonna practice with some formulas that you will often need throughout this class. All right, you can format them correctly. Then the computer values should inherit the correct formatting, okay? So let's see if they work that way. Start by typing in a number here, anything you want, okay? Just suppose I type in uh, $500, okay? Yeah, it's formatted as a dollar, that is correct. Let's suppose I type in 5.5%, that would be 0 0.055, 5.5%, 5 .5%, all right? And it formats for me to 5.5%, beautiful. I'm going to put in N is 12, and I'm going to put in T is three years. All right. So I'm going to start with the future value compound interest. So P stands for the number of dollars I make a one-time investment, and I invest it into account. I leave it sit there for three years, being compounded monthly at 5.5% interest. I'm going to just use the formula that is here. I'm going to copy this formula and paste it beginning with the equal sign, not the FV, but the equal. So control C or command C if you're using a Mac, control V or command C a V if you're using a Mac. All right, let's go up here and delete the space between the equal and the P, delete the P. Now come down here and click your mouse right on the cell where the value of P is, that is B17. All right, go to where the R is, click your mouse on the R in my formula, delete the R, Click on the cell where the R is, all right? Just keep going, guys. You got this. Click where the N is, delete it, click on the N, all right? Again, go to where the second N is. Go back here, click on cell D17. You, you see it show up. Click where the T is. Let's delete that T and click where the value of T is. All right, now I have a formula that says I'm going to have $589.47, okay? So my formula is correct. It has turned to green on gray. I know it is correct. All right, next. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to work on the second formula. This one says I'm going to invest P dollars per period. All right, so if I'm going to do it every month, that means N is 12 for every single month of the year. And now I'm not investing $500 one time. I'm investing $500 every single month. All right, let's do the same thing. Click on the cell where my formula is. Grab it, highlight it, copy it. Don't cut it out, copy it. All right, come down here. Let's paste it in. Okay, it didn't like that. Let me try this one more time. Nope, it says it doesn't like that. All right, so it doesn't want me to merge those cells. So guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to type the formula in this time, okay? I'm going to have to type. So start with the equals. Click on the cell where P is. Click right here where P is. Okay, I'm good. Next thing it says, multiply. So I'm going to hit the multiplication, then the open parentheses. Two of them, open parentheses. Then it says one plus R, click on the cell where R is, good, forward slash, it says N, click where the cell where N is, and it says close parentheses, let's do it, all right, close parentheses. Now I need the, the uh, caret key, so that is shift six, shift six, now it says open my parentheses, so open parentheses, now it says N times T. So click on N and then times. 
the value where t is, that is e17. Then it says to close my parentheses, then minus one and close parentheses. All right, we're doing good. Now I need to divide by the denominator. So I'm gonna do the division again, right? Forward slash, open my parentheses, the cell where R is, and divided by, divided by the cell where N is. Oh, I just did the wrong one. Back it up here. R is in cell C, so I need to make this a C right here, okay? So C17, there we go. Divided by D17, close parentheses. All right, and we are good to go. Hit enter, and we're all good, everybody. Okay, so now I have that formula. Now I'm gonna go right up here and I'm going to calculate the interest earned, okay? It says the future value minus the present value. The future value is right here in column H. The present value for this one is over here in cell C17, or B17. So I'm gonna hit equals, click on my future value here in H21, subtract from that my present value, which is in cell B17, and hit enter. All right, so I have made $89.47 interest. All right, excellent. Now, the next one is a little bit different, everybody. This one says uh, the total, the future value, the total is P times N times T. So then I want to start with the equal sign. Then I'm going to type in, not type in, but click on P, which was 500. Then multiply by N. Click on the N, which is 12 times t, which is three. All right, hit enter. It tells me I have a total invested of $18,000 over those three years. Now I wanna know how much interest I've earned. I can click on the cell next to it, type in equals. I'm gonna subtract the total future value amount, the future value of this account, minus the amount that I invested. All right, hit enter, and I'm good to go. All right, everybody? So there I have it. Now, everybody, you notice in this case that I am making a one-time investment of $500. Then I'm making a $500 a month payment, okay? So that's the big difference. I'm going to leave you guys to do the simple interest one up above there. Let me see if you can copy the formula up here like I did before. Let me see. Control-C, Control-V. Yeah, it allowed me to copy and paste this one. All right, so you guys can do that too. They just delete the spaces and as we did before. All right, so all those are good to go. Now, everybody, I'm gonna come down here and this now is randomly selected for all of us, okay? We're gonna use the formulas that we just made, okay? We're not gonna try to make up something new. We're gonna use the formulas that we just made. Down here, it says, I have invested a 5,000 Let's go to this. Uh, I'll just do this last one again. Final value of the account. Let's go down here. It says I invested. I'll start from the top. $5,225. All right. Over time, which in my case is six years. The value of N... I'm sorry, my interest rate is 0 0.0493. And it says is 12 because it's monthly. T it says is how many years? Six years in my case. And I have a monthly payment. I'm looking right here. Okay, I'm looking right here. I have a monthly payment of 72.57. All right, so 72.57. And you say, why are you putting an M in here when we didn't do it before? Well, I'm doing M down here, everybody, because we're not going to make the same monthly payment that we made a one-time total payment of, okay? Because up here, 
we're putting $5,225 in the bank. And probably most people wouldn't put $5,225 in a bank every month to save. Most people maybe put aside $72.57 a month, right? Just something different. That's what I'm showing you guys. All right, so let's go up here. Let's go and see if we can copy this formula this time, shall we? I'm going to try it one more time. So I'm going to copy this, control C. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it in here and see if I can get it to work. Hey, it worked. Yes. All right. Now, guys, let's just go down through here and make the replacement, okay? Instead of P, though, remember this time I'm using M for my monthly payment. So where my monthly payment is, I click right here on the value of M. All right. I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did a little bit ago. Erase or delete the R. Click where the value of R is. All right. Now, I'm going to go to the next place, delete the N. Click where N is. Fantastic. Keep going. Delete the value of N. Click where N is. Fantastic. All right. Delete the T. Click where T is. Fantastic. Let's do this one more time. Delete R. Oh, I lost a parenthesis there. I don't want that. Okay. Delete the R and put the value of R by clicking on the cell. Delete the value of N and click where N is. Click there and hit enter. And we are good to go. You can see my value is correct. I have $6,065.62. All right. And how much will I have total invested up here, everybody? Remember the total invested is P times N times T. P is my payment. Down here, my payment is M. All right. So when I use this formula this time, I'm using these three values right here. My monthly payment times N times T. That is always the formula that we need to use. So just go here, type in equals, type in M times N times T. Hit enter. I will have invested $5,225. Hey, look at that, everybody. Look at this. This is great. Look, I invested $5,225 up here total. Down here, I invested $5,225 total. What's this going to show us, everybody? This is going to show us which one makes better sense. Simple interest with a one-time sum investment, compound interest with a one-time in investment, or what if I make payments every month? We would then see which one was the better deal, right? Everybody, that's what we're looking for here. That's cool. All right. Now, the last formula says, what is my interest earned? Remember, everybody, my interest earned right back up here is my future value minus my total. All right. So let's go right here. Click on the cell. Type the equal sign to get us started, right? Then it is future value. Click on that cell. That is G36 minus H36. Hit enter, and I am done. $840.58. All right, everybody, I am going to stop right here, guys. You now know exactly how to do this. You can copy the formulas when available. If not, you got to do it by hand. It's a little bit more work. But either way, guys, make the best use of your time you can. Remember, compare these values down here, right? That's the whole idea. Compare these values to see, is it better to do simple interest? Is it better to do a one-time lump sum investment that is compounded? Or is it better to make payments over a period of time and see what I get there? Okay, I'm going to leave you guys here to it. Thank you guys very much for your time. I will see you in the forums. Take care, guys. Bye.